Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource channel. I have another video here for you and this one was actually requested by one of the subscribers. I've put the right tension on all three drive belts and it's running perfectly since then. But one of you ask how do we choose or how do we apply the correct tension on those V-belts. I wish there was some easy answer to that question because there is not. So let's go together and look what I'm talking about and let's try to find some answer to that question. Here you can see two of those V-belts uh, out of three which are on this Toyota 5 VZFE engine. And the question is how do we put correct tension on each of those belts obviously because when they are not tight enough they will be squeaking and they will be not working correctly if you will over tight them you will put too much load on the uh, for example alternator here and you will be probably damaging the bearings on the alternator. So. so you will hope that there is some kind of gauge or some device which will pull or push on the belts and you will immediately know the tension. But the problem is that as you can see there is always a different distance between the two axles. So here you see this is the center. This is longer distance then it's here between this center and this center and that's what makes these procedures really complicated if you want to use the gauge. Why? Because the belt obviously which has the same tension is differently acting between the these two places which are further from each other than between these two spots the, the, the belt obviously feels way more tighter here than in this area despite the fact both belts have exactly same tension so if you will buy one of those gauges basically what you are doing you push on the belt you measure the deflection and then you measure the distances between these two axles and you have to use special calculation to get actually the tension of that belt. Which obviously in the real world takes forever and the mechanics in the commercial uh, places they don't have a time to do this. So in the real world, in the real professional world and I work for Toyota for uh, three years we basically develop the feel for those belts and you can just see oh this is how it feels between these two and this is how it feels for me between these two so you develop the feel for the belts and you know that they are correctly tightened but guess what it gets even more complicated why <laughs> because after you install that belt and you run it on the engine within few minutes the belt actually stretches and you should if you want to be really correct and go in the detail you should go back and readjust that tension not only that the belt keeps stretching so basically if you read the manufacturers recommendations you should readjust the tension again within like two days of driving. It's amazing and obviously there's no time for that in a real world. Some people will also show you the method of twisting the belt this way, right? And they say, well if you can twist it 90 degree and it doesn't twist more, it's a good tension. But again, here in the short distance you can make it 90 and that's it. But here on the longer distance I can twist it more, you know, and I know this belt is correctly adjusted, so that method is also inaccurate. So I hope I was kind of able to give you idea about the 
tension of the V belts or drive belts as we call them. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.